We'll see you at the 107. Keep up with the 103. 103 versus 107. We're about to make a Yamaha sandwich, mother. <laughs> Here we go. What oh, happened? No. What, did, oh. what happened? I broke my f***ing clutch or my throttle cable. Oh, no. <laughs> I was worried about that. Oh, <laughs> uh, buddy. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Didn't your idle cable just go out? It did. Oh. <laughs> I, I thought you were losing really, really bad. <laughs> oh, uh oh. Son of a bitch, dude. It's the next day. Yesterday ended in a lot of beers and tequila, and we're starting today up at the ride factory so my main man right over here can get his new cables. We're going back to the garage and gonna go fix those. But first we're grabbing a bite to eat. We'll see you all back at the garage. After lunch, after almost getting murdered, what the f are you doing? Back at the garage and Kyle has started work on his new, what is it? It's a 1975 Honda CB 362. 75 CB 350 hype. 360. <laughs> Devin's fixing his mistake from yesterday. A few odds and ends on my Sportster. I know I didn't show you guys the first ride, but that was for me. I'm sure Josh is going to go over there and spoil it for you, so I don't care. So, there's evidence of it. But I'm going to do a couple more things on it so that I can go ahead and get it street legal so I can ride it home tonight because that will be right as f something crimpers to make sure that the wires go into the housing and the pins that go into the housing and the wires and the crimpers turn it over with today. Had enough. Finally got the freaking stripped out screw out of the back so I can put in some new ones which means now I can put on my freaking gasket. Ah! By the way, screw extractors. A great $20 spent. Trust me. Oh yeah, and since the bike got a bit of a lean right now, since it's got new tires, new kickstand. I have zero idea of how to do this. This can get real interesting real quick. So, get started, get it over with, get it done, it's right at Sportster. Well, this is officially turning out to be a lot harder than it looked. Every time I go down to the ride factory, Shelby's always like, oh, you want to get this and you want to get that. And I start making lists and here I am going, man, I should have really bought the silicone spray that you told me to buy. Do it! Yes! Almost. So close. Come on. Well, the good news is that I'm reassured that it's gonna be watertight. Where's my plate? Remember when this is brand new and didn't have all these nicks on it because I'm an idiot? I 
For anybody who's gonna decide to do this later on in life, I'm gonna tell you now that tighten it as hard as I did, thinking that that's what's making pressure to hold this on, you're wrong. It's the rubber gasket, go get one. I got my Speedo, it's on, it's good, we can move on. So when I first started working on the Sportster was back in January, February. It was the first time I had really put my hands on my motorcycle and tried to do some of these things and replicate some of the things I've seen other people do. And depending electrical parts was not something that I was anywhere near being good at yet. And so completely destroyed the old one, which is somewhere around here, that was right here, this right here. It ran away in shape. But you know, growing and learning, you this is where we're at. So, got new housing, got new pens, got my new crimper, which, by the way, street legal motorcycle in three, two, one. So pretty much what I gotta do right now is I gotta do this, which hurts me, probably more than it hurts you because it's scary because there's no turning back now. But we have the right tools, have everything we need to make this better. I'm trying to do these things properly and blah, blah, blah. Trying to be good about this stuff. Doesn't take much. All you need is a touch. There's that. Grab your little penny pen and just, yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. And then you're just gonna seat it, do a little twisties. That's everybody in the group stay together. Single file line. When doing projects on your motorcycle, remember to be unsure of everything you're doing and double check your work before you do anything permanently. Woo. All right. Oh boy, oh boy. That is done. No turning back. It's not the prettiest job, but it's done. The reason why I'm so stressed out over these stupid little pins is that you can only get them from so many places. Pound for pound, probably one of the more expensive parts is this entire build. Two down, one to go. Well, folks, theoretically, that should be it. Gotta put the pins back in order, take a picture, remember. Guess what this means? We're street legal. We got brakes. One step closer. Now to see how difficult it's gonna be to change the kickstand, cause I have no clue. It doesn't look that difficult. But this is me we're talking about, so let's watch everything go wrong.
Coming to truth.